Hi, I'm Missy with On William Street, and we are here to help you become a more confident quilter, starting with the piecing to the quilting and everything in between. This week we have a really exciting surprise for you. So a little bit different than what we've typically been doing during our Wednesday videos, but we have been working on a project and Kimmy and I are so excited to be able to start to share this project with you. So we are working on our first book and it is going to be so much fun. If you are familiar with I Spy Quilts, it's going to be a modern twist on an I Spy Quilt. So a lot of the I Spy Quilts, you go out and you fussy cut things out of the fabric. For our I Spy Quilt, we are going to create each of those objects in our quilt. So we have got lots of little paper pieced templates that we were putting together, and we are going to have a hundred different items in our I Spy Quilt. So this is a perfect time to start talking about one of our pieces that are, that's in the I Spy Quilt because it is back to school. So we are going to show you today our pencil. So this is one of the blocks that you'll be able to make in our book. And we're going to walk through and I'm going to show you how to make this pencil using a paper piece technique that we like. And as a thank you for our subscribers, we are going to actually put our pencil block in our subscriber library. So you can go in, grab that template, and make something really fun for your teachers, or for you, because I know a lot of us are becoming teachers with everything that's been going on in the world right now. So the really great thing about this is it really, it uses scraps. So that's one of the things that's gonna be really fun. You'll be able to get through all those scraps, or you can also go out and buy just some really fun colors. For the pencil block, we're going to need black, of course. We need to have some lead. And then we have our wood, so kind of a little bit of a tan color. Our pencil, our colors are yellow for our regular number two school pencils. We have a little bit of gray for the, the little end and our pink eraser. And then you'll need some white for the background. The method that we like to use is we're going to go ahead and sew along this line in between the A1 and A2. So we're going to fold right there on that line. So you can see there's a crease between that A1 and A2. And we're going to lay our yellow fabric out. We wanna make sure that A1 is completely covered by that yellow fabric. Just double check that, make sure we've got about a quarter of an inch seam allowance right there. And then we're going to take our pencil wood fabric and this is going to help us so that we can make sure that we cover all of that A2 piece. So we'll lay it on the top, make sure that we're covering that up and then we're just going to flip it up over, put this piece on top and we can still, if you want to do a double check, kind of lift it up, see, yep, it's all still being covered nicely Then lay it over and then I like to use a pin just to keep everything in place as I take it over to my sewing machine. And then we're going to take that over. We're gonna sew on that line. And one thing to remember with paper piecing is you're want, going to want to reduce your stitch length. It's gonna help so much easier when we're tearing the paper at the end. We've got our seam. We're going to go ahead and just fold this over. Give it a nice finger press. And then we're going to move on to the next piece. So we'll go ahead and fold this paper right here on the in between the A2 and the A3. And then we're going to cut our quarter of an inch seam. So this is when we're gonna actually start cutting. I'm gonna move some of this fabric. I don't need to cut all of that at a quarter of an inch. Then we can go ahead, we can lay down our next section. Make sure that we're covering that A3 section all the way. And then also make sure as you're working on these, if you're getting close to the edge, you wanna make sure that you're covering this seam allowance in there as well. And then again, we'll fold that over, take it to our machine and sew on the line. That seam is sewn, so go ahead and give it a little bit of a finger press and then just keep continuing to follow the order of 
the rest of the numbers. We're all done with our seams. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take it over to the iron, give it a really good press, and then we're going to cut the block out, trim all of the edges. And we wanna make sure that we're cutting on this dotted line so that we have our seam allowance included. Our pencil is complete. We just need to go ahead and remove the paper and then we can use this in any project we want. We are going to go ahead and turn this into a really fun little mug rug with some goodies for our favorite teacher. Now, if you want to make sure that you know when this book is available or you want to see the other squares that we are going to be including, make sure to follow us on Instagram or Facebook. We're going to be posting lots of really fun pictures. And make sure you also subscribe to our newsletter and then you'll know when the book is ready for pre-order. We are planning to have that ready for pre-order in September so that you can get started on all of these fun little blocks and make your own I Spy quilt. If you have any questions, let us know. You can um, comment on the videos. You can also send us an email. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell so you get reminded every time we post a new video. And we will see you next week.